there's two things that people didn't see during that period. The one thing that everybody saw was the very visceral reaction from particular politicians and sort of some of the liberal elites, very visceral. So people saw that and that made the headlines and that got into ETV and everything. And that was the drama. What they didn't see and the newspapers would not report on were the boxes and boxes of emails, of the telephone calls, the letters that came through of support from black and white. You know, If that didn't happen, I think I would have been really, really vulnerable. But because I saw it, and I don't just mean Tutu's public letter to the press, which was a hugely, you know, for me, comforting thing, given who he is, but there were ordinary people from around the country that wherever I went, churches, mosques, synagogues, people would stand up and say, you're doing the right thing. And by the way, it's not the first time it's happening, which is true. I mean, it's, you know, this happened hundreds of times before, since the 90s. So um, I never experienced it as a baptism of fire. I didn't experience it because of what I thought was a disproportionate sort of level of support in relation to the angry voices.